what's up guys. Today, I'll show you a crime drama film. A simple favor. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with Stephanie talking to her mommy Vlog about baking cookies, and she becomes emotional when she explains that her best friend Emily is missing. Stephanie asks for help in finding her friend because the friend left her son with her. The film flashbacks when Stephanie explains how she met her best friend Emily. One day their kids had a school event, so Stephanie brought food and took pictures of the students. The teacher asked the parents if anyone saw Emily, and they did not know where she was. Stephanie met the kids outside of the school. The son of Stephanie had a playdate with Emily's son. Then, Emily showed up at a dramatic entrance. The kids ask if they can play together, and at first Emily hesitated, but ends up letting Stephanie and her son come along so their kids can play. In Emily's house, the kids instantly run to her son's room to play. Stephanie and Emily go inside too and discuss the nude painting of Emily in her house. They chit-chat a bit as Emily turns on some music to play and leaves the room to get some booze. Stephanie starts to dance to the music, and Emily catches her dancing. Emily starts making their drinks in the kitchen, and she talks about her husband. As they both talk about her husband, Stephanie suddenly remembers the car crash accident that killed her husband. They continue to talk and sip on their booze, then Emily's husband arrives and flirts with her. After flirting with Emily, her husband goes upstairs to shower. Stephanie offers to help Emily with picking up her son from school, whatever she needs any help. The following day, Stephanie is going to her son's school, that she receives a call from Emily. She asks Stephanie if she can take her son home, since she is busy with work. So Stephanie brings the kids to the park and lets them play, and after a while, Emily meets them there. Stephanie takes a picture of Emily, but Emily gets upset and asks her to delete it. Stephanie apologizes and says she probably isn't the type of person Emily is usually friends with. They leave the park and go to Emily's place for drinks. Stephanie gives her a bracelet, and they have a friendly time. Stephanie gets a little tipsy with Emily on the couch. Their conversations turn deeper, as Stephanie tells her a secret that happened during her father's funeral. A stranger that resembled her deceased dad walked in, and Stephanie finds out that he's her half-brother. After the funeral, Stephanie and her brother Tom massage each other. Emily teases her about the secret, because everyone thinks that Stephanie is an innocent mom that only does good things. The next day, Emily calls Stephanie and asks for a simple favor to get her son again. So she picks up the kids, and they have another playdate. It gets late, and Stephanie cannot contact Emily after many calls and texts. Stephanie calls Emily's assistant, and finds out that Emily is out of town. Stephanie calls Emily's husband next, who is at the hospital taking care of his mother. He explains the situation and says he will pick up their son the next day at Stephanie's house. Emily's husband decides to hang up, but gets stopped when Stephanie tells her concern about her friend, and Stephanie suggests they ask the police for help. Moments after, the police come to Stephanie's house, and they explain the situation to the officers. Emily's husband and Stephanie start to talk about Emily's mysteriousness. The husband describes Emily as someone anyone can get close to, but can't quite reach her. He also describes her as a beautiful ghost, who is never entirely there. Their talk ends when Emily's husband decides to go home, but Stephanie tells him the taxis aren't available, since it's past midnight. She lets Emily's husband sleep on her couch. The following day, Stephanie vlogs again, and explains that Emily's husband could not be the suspect, since he was in London when she went missing. So Stephanie decides to investigate the matter on her own, to find out why Emily is missing. She decides to go to Emily's office to find out more information. The receptionist ignores her, but this does not stop her. She patiently waits for Emily's boss and asks him if he knows where she is, but the boss also doesn't know. Stephanie is not satisfied with her answer, so she decides to sneak into the office to snoop around. In Emily's office, she finds a picture. Stephanie is in shock and grabs the photo while leaving the building. The boss catches her, but she's able to escape. At the elevator, she looks at the picture and sees Emily's image. Stephanie and Emily's husband are posting missing posters everywhere in town, hoping that the people would help them find Emily. After posting, Stephanie prepares dinner at Emily's place. The doorbell rings, and they are greeted by an investigator. The investigator tells the husband that Emily did not buy a ticket to Miami. They can't track her down, but a team is on their way to still search for Emily. The scene goes back to Stephanie's mommy vlog, where she explains more how to identify the car Emily last used. The next day, she receives an email saying that the person might have seen Emily's car, but she is uncertain. Stephanie takes quick action and consults the husband about the information. While Stephanie and Emily's husband are talking, the husband receives a call from the police, and they tell him to go to a location. They have found Emily's car near a lake, and Emily's body is seen nearby. After the funeral, everyone goes to Emily's place to mourn her death. We can see that Emily's son is upset, so he pushes Stephanie's son and hurts him. Emily's husband pulls his son away from the other kid. 
After that, Emily's son blames Stephanie for his mom's death, and he thinks Stephanie is trying to be his new mom. Stephanie explains the situation to Emily's son and comforts him. Stephanie approaches Emily's husband and comforts him too, so they end up having an intense moment. During the day, Stephanie plays some music in Emily's house. She takes the painting and puts it in the closet where all of Emily's clothes and shoes are placed. She wears a black dress from the closet, and suddenly the investigator rings the doorbell. She struggles to take the dress off and opens the door. The investigator keeps asking her questions about Emily. The investigator tells her information about Emily's autopsy that shows heroin use. The investigator shows his suspicions with Stephanie, which makes her more nervous. The investigator asks Stephanie if she is aware that Emily's husband took out a 4 million life insurance policy from Emily before she disappeared. Stephanie nervously answers him that she is unaware. When the investigator leaves, Stephanie immediately starts to look around the house for information. She finds a brown envelope with a note. While walking around their town, she spots Emily's husband with a woman, and they hug each other. At dinner, Emily's son says that he saw his mom at school, which left the husband and Stephanie in shock. He adds that his mom has a message for Stephanie. They don't believe him, so the son gets upset and goes upstairs. During bedtime, Stephanie kisses the kids goodnight, and suddenly, Stephanie gets an eerie feeling when she spots the bracelet she gave Emily. The moment after, Stephanie talks to the husband about the son's story of seeing his mom, but the husband tries convincing Stephanie that Emily is really dead, since they both saw her with their own eyes. Then, the husband mentions that Emily stole his mother's ring, and Stephanie gets confused because Emily told her that her mother-in-law gave it to her. A flashback is shown explaining how Emily stole the ring, and the husband was upset by Emily's actions, but he couldn't do anything. The husband tells Stephanie about his feelings for her. He says he is happy with her, and asks her to move in with them. Stephanie at first doesn't agree, but the husband tells her he loves her. The following scene, Stephanie is now moving into the house. Stephanie starts emptying Emily's clothes from the closet, and Stephanie decides to sell her house. While moving the rest of her things in, she dances as she enters Emily's old closet. She stops dancing in surprise as she sees the closet is filled with Emily's clothes again, and Stephanie couldn't contain her fear. The next day, Stephanie drives the kids home from school. Emily's son suddenly hands her an envelope, saying that it came from his mom. Stephanie loses focus and almost crashes into another car. As they arrive home, she opens the envelope, and Stephanie sees a picture of her husband and her brother, with brother fucker written on it. Then, an unknown number calls her, and she hears Emily's voice on the other line. Stephanie rushes to the husband's office to confront him. The husband calms her down, but as they talk, Stephanie sees the girl who hugged the husband before, knocks on the door. The girl calls him handsome, so Stephanie becomes more paranoid and goes home. Another flashback is shown of Stephanie telling more of her life story to Emily. A cutscene shows Stephanie and her son with her brother. Stephanie's husband saw them and got angry, so he called them to go inside. Her husband accused her brother of being her lover. Her husband asked her if he was really the father of their son. Her husband went for a drive with her brother, and that's when the car accident happened. This meant that Stephanie's husband intentionally crashed the car, which killed him and her brother. The cutscene ends and shows Emily comforting Stephanie. The following moment, Stephanie spots the signature of the painter on Emily's new painting. She tracks it down and investigates again. Stephanie finds out that the girl in the painting is not actually Emily. The artist knows the girl in her painting very well, and all of her paintings were about her. The artist pushes a box of Emily's things towards Stephanie and gives it to her. She sees a shirt with a Bible camp print, so Stephanie proceeds to check out a Bible camp. She views the past photo books of the former campers. Stephanie spots Emily with her twin. Her investigation starts getting intense as she finds more clues. She pretends to be someone else and calls the twin's parents. Unfortunately, she did not obtain any helpful information. It is getting pretty dangerous, but this did not stop Stephanie. She goes to the twins' house and pretends to be a cleaning lady. While cleaning, she spots the twins' pictures inside the house. She talks to the mother of the twins, and the mother tells Stephanie stories of how the twins were very difficult to take care of. The woman tells the story about a fire burning their house down, which killed her first husband. In the next moment, Stephanie vlogs and tells her viewers about Emily's past and her mysterious twin. She also tells her viewers that she is now going back home, and the purpose of this announcement is to alert Emily. On the other end, as expected, Emily watches the vlog, and she gets infuriated with Stephanie's video content. As Stephanie gets home, she writes an email about the clues she found in her investigation, as she is planning to jeopardize Emily and her husband's plan for the $4 million insurance money. At a restaurant, Emily visits her husband, and they argue. The husband and Emily had planned for the insurance money to wire through because of their financial difficulties, but the husband did not expect to find Emily dead, which made things complicated. 
He says Emily was supposed to lay low, and the husband thought Emily really died. Emily tells her husband that if Stephanie tells the authorities about their plan, she's bringing him down with her. The husband protests, but Emily pulls out a gun and pretends to shoot him. She makes him choose between her or Stephanie and records their conversation. The husband gets home and he sees an insurance agent talking to Stephanie. When the agent leaves, the husband gets mad at Stephanie for not telling him about the twin. Their argument ends and the scene cuts to Stephanie at Emily's supposed grave where Emily shows up and they have a drink together. They talk about their pasts and Stephanie tries to guess what happened to their childhood and why the twins burned down their house. Emily explains that she and her twins separated ways so that they won't be caught because of the crime they committed. Their plans did not work out, so Emily worked on her own in New York. After her success, she decided to meet up with her sister again in their special cabin. When Emily saw her sister, she was sick and not in good shape. But then the sister wanted to tell the police the crime they committed before if Emily didn't give her money. Emily agreed as long as she kept quiet. They went swimming in the lake, and that is where Emily drowned her sister. The body the police found before was hers and not Emily's. Stephanie doesn't believe her story, and when Emily said that it was her husband's idea, she did not trust her. Emily plays the voice recording where her husband was saying mean things about Stephanie from the time they met at the restaurant. This convinces Stephanie that Emily is telling the truth. Emily has another plan of wanting to frame her husband. Stephanie cooperates, and Stephanie plants evidence to convince the police that the husband is the mastermind. Emily hits her eye with a wrench to make it look like she was hurt. She comes home with a black eye, and the police arrest the husband. The news shows what happened to the husband, and it also shows that he forced Emily to fake her death. After all that effort, the husband is still able to go home because of Emily. The following moment, Emily greets her husband in their home and admits that she framed him. An upset Stephanie goes to their house and points a gun at the husband. The moment becomes intense as the husband and Emily argue in front of Stephanie. Stephanie threatens to kill the husband, but Emily does not want him dead. So Emily tries to convince Stephanie to drop the gun. Suddenly, Stephanie shoots the husband. Stephanie panics, realizing what she had just done. Emily suddenly confesses to killing her sister, but she sees through the husband and Stephanie's ruse. She laughs and tells them to drop the act. Emily says she knew their plan, so she confessed to everything that she did, knowing that the recording device planted on her dress was destroyed. After that, Emily brings out a gun and shoots her husband on his shoulder. Emily is also planning to shoot Stephanie, but gets stopped by the hidden camera that Stephanie has, which means everything that's happening is on live stream. Emily tries to run and escape, but she can already hear the police cars coming. Stephanie runs after her and she tries to convince Emily not to hide anymore for her son. Emily is about to shoot Stephanie, and suddenly she gets run over by a car. Emily flips over and drops down. Right then, Emily is arrested by the police. Six months later, Stephanie gets famous for her vlogs and reaches her 1 million subscriber count. The film ends with Stephanie finding her passion to be a sleuth vlogger for cold cases. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.